Oh, thank God you're finally here. I have been waiting and waiting for you to come. I was so bored. Waiting is awful, isn't it? What kind of things do we have to wait for? Maybe like going on a vacation or summer to come or something special for your birthday. Those are all really hard to wait for, aren't they? Well, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for Jesus to come back. And that's what Paul in the book of Romans talked about today. He was writing a letter to the people of Rome because they were getting tired of waiting for Jesus to come back. The people wanted Jesus to hurry up and come back and fix the world that wasn't going so well. Paul said it didn't work that way. They just had to wait and be patient. And one of the scriptures this morning says, but if we hope for what we cannot see, then we patiently wait for it. So he was telling the people of Rome that they had to patiently wait for Jesus to return. I have for you this morning a fable. You know what a fable is, don't you? It's a story that has a moral or something that we should learn from it. And it's called The Magic Patience. The Magic of Patience by Bisab Ghosh. The buffalo lived in a dense forest with many other animals. The buffalo was a good animal. It hardly ever disturbed anybody and the buffalo minded his own business most of the times. But in the forest where the buffalo lived reside a mischievous monkey. Now this monkey, for some reason, loved to play tricks and pranks on all the other animals. Every day, the monkey would think of new ways to create trouble for others. All the other animals had become extremely irritated with the monkey. Out of all the animals, the monkey especially loved to play pranks on the buffalo. Every day, the monkey would bring out a new trick. The monkey would pull the buffalo's tail, or he would throw nuts at the buffalo's head, or he would jump on the buffalo's back from treetops. But the buffalo was patient. The buffalo never said anything to the monkey, nor did he ever complain. The buffalo went about doing its own things. All the other animals had had enough of that monkey, and they wondered why the buffalo was so silent. Then one day, an elephant asked the buffalo, Why are you so quiet? The mischievous monkey has been playing tricks on you day after day, and yet I have never seen you complain. Why is that? The buffalo smiled and said, Because the monkey's tricks are teaching me patience. And I must tell you, elephant, Patience is the purest form of bliss and gives you peace. The monkey had been hearing this from the treetops. Suddenly he felt ashamed of his immaturity. He climbed down and properly asked for forgiveness. Since that day, the monkey never played tricks on any other animals again. Patience can overcome anything. So we saw in our story that waiting isn't always easy and we need to have patience. As the Romans were waiting for Jesus to come back, so are we waiting. We don't know when that will be, but we just need to be patient. And they remind us in our scripture today that while we are waiting, there are things that we can do. We can care for one another and love one another. And God made this wonderful world for us to share with others. So that's what we can do while we wait. Let us pray. Dear God, patience is not an easy thing. It's just as hard for adults as it is for children. No one likes to wait, but we know you, Jesus, will be worth the wait. Help us to share God's love while we wait with one another and care for one another in God's love. Amen.